I'm Garfield Grandison. I'm here with the rest of the Greeners Lifestyle team. We're in Portland. It's our annual swimsuit issue. We have a num wide range of designers. We have Azuri International, Caramba, Kerry Case, and Janelle Jolly. Great weather since the rain is holding up. Fabulous girls and a great location. We're at G Jam. It's our annual swimsuit issue, so check it out. Check it out. It was an almost perfect day. We started just a little bit after 6 a.m. with the models and the team making their way to the beautiful parish of Portland. <laughs> with the weather being so dark and rainy, one began to wonder how we would be able to accomplish a swimsuit shoot. However, the rain gods seemed to be on our side as we got bright sunshine as we scoured the Portland coastline. With its breathtaking views and exclusive amenities, the G Jam Hotel tucked away in Portland's lush hillside proved to be the perfect venue. Upon arrival, the girls headed straight into hair and makeup, done by makeup artist and British born Sam Suki. I'm from London. Um, I've been a makeup artist for probably, I mean, I've been doing makeup for about 13, 14 years. Um, I'm based in London, but I travel. I, tr I, I do a lot of work around Europe, so I travel a lot to, to um, I work a lot in Italy at the moment, and, and um, I'm doing some work in Barcelona. Um, coming to Jamaica, I love it because obviously it's just a whole different energy, and the makeup and everything, the whole scene is really different to London, so I really enjoy that. But um, I do predominantly fashion, I work in music, I do lots of commercial work. For today's shoot, we're doing quite a natural look to start off with and then building it up into something a little bit more dramatic. So, you know, hopefully we're going to take about 30 minutes, 40 minutes to do like just a natural base makeup. And then from that, you can actually build on it. So if you wanted to add more colour or, you know, more definition, then you can do that from then. So when I bring a kit out to Jamaica, I tend to use, um, I get like waterproof uh, products like pencils and um, lash glue and stuff like that because obviously we don't want anything coming off. I mean with the foundation it will be, you know, it's going to, it's, it's probably going to come off a little bit but the girls have got really lovely skin so I tend not to put too much foundation on, just kind of concealing and just making sure the skin's really even and then that's just easy to touch up, especially with the heat as well because you're going to be, you know, just touching up the skin a little bit as you go along. Yeah, when it comes to mascaras, we don't want any big black eyes. <laughs> I think everybody is very professional. <laughs> everybody is very professional and everything is on time and going smoothly. But it's kind of hard. <laughs> The lovely and energetic Amanda Mitchell took a few risks and gave us some fierce fashion poses as she was shot by Gleaner Lifestyle photographer Gladstone Taylor. Anisha Peterson was up next as she went under the brush for the makeup artistry of Sam Suki. As the end of the day drew near, the crew grew weary but continued to press on to get the perfect shots. The models were up to the challenge as we moved from Amanda to the sweet and shy but intense Fiona Davis. Nicknamed as Pocahontas Onset, this beauty wowed in this neon pink Azuri International monokini. Like the Gleaners lifestyle team, Janelle Jolly was on trend with color blocking swimsuits mixed with a variety of prints. It's Flair, our swimsuit edition. 